cervix is the lower part of the uterus. It is the most common cancer in India and it is the second most common cancer in the world. About 1.73 lakh cases of cancer are detected in India every year and 74,000 of women die suffering from cervical cancer. So, cancer of the cervix is also called cervical cancer. The signs of carcinoma cervix are most of the ladies present with postcoital bleeding or they have bleeding when they have sex and women can also present with bleeding heavy bleeding during their periods or bleeding in between their periods sometimes women who are above the age of 50 years who have attained the menopause the bleeding is it just starts abruptly all these features or a lower back pain any unusual symptom, lower back pain, lower abdominal pain, uh, discharge per vaginum should create an alert and a woman should surely contact a doctor. And after a treatment for local infection, if the symptoms are not settled, then one should surely go for tests for malignancy. The, for the prevention of carcinoma cervix, which is what we are trying to highlight and educate the masses, all women should know that their girl child should be vaccinated between the ages of 11 and 26. These vaccines, they basically cover the viral infection, which is the cause, majorly a cause of the cervical cancer. This is a human papilloma virus. The vaccine covers all the strains which are the reason for the cancer and it should be given a zero dose, a dose after one month and after six months as a booster. The other thing is one is prevention with vaccine, the second would be to be alert and if there are pap smear tests which are available which should be done it is a liquid which is picked up from the cervix and examined for the cytology for the cancer cells and the earlier we detect the earlier we pick up the cancer higher are the cure rates so detection and screening are a comprehend a integral part of treatment of cancer cervix A doctor would tell you that you have to come to the OPD and the tests are done. The lady is made to lie on the couch and a speculum is used to examine the part. It is a painless procedure and it hardly takes few minutes for the doctor to have a look at the part. And then after the speculum examination and a vaginal examination, uh, the woman has to undergo the pap smear test and if there is any suspicion in the pap smear the further the doctor will advise you to go for a biopsy the biopsy of this part is widely known as colposcopy in this colposcopy it is again a painless procedure one need not be afraid to go for these tests and a not a very expensive procedure in the colposcopy the biopsy is taken and then the final report is generated after these tests are done and a cancer is confirmed, one has to undergo a few radiological tests like ultrasound, a CT or an MRI and a chest x-ray and other tests depending on the symptoms of the patient. Other than the radiological, the hematological tests are also required when a workup for the cancer is being done. We have all known about the staging in cancer. Similarly, for cancer cervix, we have four stages, one, two, three and four, depending upon where the disease has spread in the body. Now, if the cancer from cervix has spread to the local tissues, we by and large label it one, two, three, and it can also do a local infiltration into the urinary bladder in front and the rectum behind. Other than that, this cancer has the propensity to go to the liver, abdominal lymph glands, the chest lymph glands or the bone also. There can be metastasis to the lung as well. So that is why there is a need for this complete comprehensive workup of the patient. Nowadays, people have commonly heard about a test called PET scan, which is a single shot test in which a dye is injected 
and we can pick up where all the cancer is in the body. So it easily helps in one go to find out about the metastasis workup for a patient. But nevertheless, keeping the expenses in mind, other tests are also very, very useful and helpful and equally efficient to stage the cancer. Coming to the treatment, all the three modalities which we are aware of, surgery, chemotherapy and radiation therapy are important and integral to the treatment of cancer of cervix. In surgery, we, do the, we remove the cervix, the uterus and all the tissues around and the lymph node dissection is done so that the patient is disease free. After the specimen is reported, this is majorly recommended for stage 1 and early stage 2 cancers. In stage 3, surgery is not easily feasible, so is not recommended. So in stage 1 and 2, if the surgery is complete and there are no indications, patients can be kept on follow-up. But otherwise, depending on the reports, if the lymph nodes are positive or the tissues are positive, grade is high, mitosis is high, then these kind of patients go for radiation therapy. So surgery alone or surgery and radiotherapy are the mainstay of the treatment in stage 1 and 2 and the results are very gratifying. Stage 1 patient, we can get the result to the tune of 95% 5 year survival. In a stage 2 patient, you can have a survival to the tune of 80%. In stage 3, the results are not so impressive but still lot of research is going on and lot of efforts are being put. One should not be discouraged and chemotherapy and radiotherapy together are very useful in controlling this cancer. And I would say that if good one is in good hands and good treatment is given, the results of 40 to 45 persons are still attainable in this. Stage 4 is very dismal because you have metastasis in the liver and lung. So our aim of treatment is to make the patient as much comfortable as possible which we also known as which we also call as palliative treatment supportive is given as well as radiotherapy can be used to control all the symptoms which are affecting day to day life of the patient in the symptoms of cancer cervix i would like to highlight it is more common in women above the age of 45 and uh, all those women who are multi more than three pregnancies, multiple sexual partners, smoking and infection which is human papilloma virus exposure. So these are the risk factors and if one knows then an early sex is also one of the causative factors of this cancer. Education would help children ladies and girls to know to protect themselves from this disease. I would like to highlight the simple facts about breast screening. One should know information is very important. It saves a life. Please listen carefully. All women above the age of 50 years are more prone for developing breast cancer. 75% of the cancers are in women above the age of 50. 9 out of 10 women who have breast cancer do not have a family history. I would like to explain what is a breast screen. In other words, it is also called mammogram. It is an x-ray. One need not be afraid. All women above the age of 50 every two years should go through a mammogram. Here, the breast is put on the x-ray plate and the film is shot. Do not force to give you a report immediately. Please let them read the report carefully and give you a complete detailed information so that breast cancer is ruled out. It is a very safe procedure. The radiation exposure is very low, so need not worry. And every two years, if there but the test is done and nothing is picked up, one can always do it later. There are other treatment modalities which the 
patient is subjected to or a person can come out of concern if there is any lump detected in the breast if there is a nipple retraction color discolor discoloration of the skin or any lump is felt in the armpit so if any of these alarming signs or symptoms is detected by a girl or a woman of any age please contact your doctor very good treatment facilities are available and cure rates are very very high it is not a depressing situation surgery chemotherapy and radiotherapy all these are incorporated depending upon the stage of the cancer and is used for treatment your doctor who's an oncologist it may be a medical oncologist a radiation oncologist and the surgical oncologist they form a team and a pathologist who would all be together to work for you and help you to decide what is the best for you so a screening and reporting to the doctor at the right time will really help us to conquer the disease